I might have a term contract pricing into my portfolio, but I don't have a buyer. Physically, I'm exposed to something, aren't I? How can I manage the risk on that cargo? If I could own a cargo, or, or if I do own a cargo, or could own a cargo, but I don't have a buyer, how can I manage the risk on that cargo? So let's say I, I might have a term contract pricing into my portfolio. How can I, how could I, what are the various ways of managing the risk on that? Index it to something. So create a floating price, right? If I buy it fixed price, what am I immediately exposed to? The, the full value of that cargo. If I buy it at $10, then I've got, I own a cargo which is worth $30 million that might be worth $28 million in a few days' time or might be worth $32 million, but I'm exposed to that full value of that cargo. So I might choose to change it into a floating price. I might index it to something so that the cargo doesn't get price or doesn't price for a period of time. Or maybe it prices in slowly and I can hedge it. I might want to consider where the LNG will go, which region it will go to. If I have a cargo pricing into my portfolio and I think I might sell it into Asia, what, would I, what might I hedge it with? JKM, right? If I thought I was going to sell it into Europe, what might I hedge it with? TTF, TTF or NBP, one of the two. The two liquid markets. But I also need to have a backstop. I, you know, if I'm hedging it into, say I have a cargo pricing into my portfolio on a Brent-related price, and I want to sell it, I see that NBP is higher than JKM. NBP's up here, JKM's up here, down there. What are my risks if I sell it into NBP? Yeah, but let's say I can fix that in because I can buy my Brent futures and I can sell my NBP futures. Physically, I'm exposed to something, aren't I? I've got to be able to deliver it. I've got to be able to find some way of getting it to market. I need to have either a regas slot or a buyer lined up. What about if I never have a buyer lined up? If I can't find a buyer to take it off my hands, then get a broker. Get a broker. The broker can't find anyone. What I'm saying is that there's always a risk associated. You need to have some definitive backstop, some way, some, somewhere to place it. Um, particularly Obviously, as the markets become more liquid, that risk sort of dissolves away to an extent because you have more people wanting to be involved in the spot markets and trading the spot markets. But there is a, certainly a time at the minute where you would want to have the certainty of being able to place it in a market. What I'm trying to describe here is when, when you're doing art, you have a physical purchase and you have a physical sale, right? And you buy futures here, and you sell futures here, to do what? Lock in the margin, yeah? Manage the risk. Lock in the margin. So that action locks in that. If I don't have the physical sale, but this cargo, even if it's indexed, begins pricing in, I d eventually that will become the equivalent of a fixed price cargo, won't it? Once it's priced in, it becomes a, a, a fixed price. So I, what I need to do is somehow manage the fixed price. I don't want to be totally exposed to that. So I could sell futures in the potential delivery market. To manage that risk. And it's slightly different to what we were doing before. If you know, last, when we were, looking at an ARB, we were buying physical, selling physical, buying futures, selling futures. But with this, where we don't have a sale, a physical sale, we're buying the physical that's pricing in and we're selling futures against it. We're hedging it 
into a potential, into a market that we might be delivering into. People sometimes say, just think, well, actually, when I'm hedging, I always do the opposite to the physical. You know, if you've got lots of, say, production coming out of the ground, how do you manage, how do ExxonMobil, for example, manage the risk on all of their equity coming out of the ground? ExxonMobil have got gas coming out of the ground tomorrow. How, do, how have they managed the price risk on it? They've sold hedges against it, yeah? They've sold against it. Um, if I own physical LNG but haven't received, got a buyer, so I don't have a margin in, I can sort of manage that by selling futures against it as a hedge against that price exposure. I need to be aware of things like where the LNG might go and do I have a backstop. Tomorrow when we talk about, we're going to talk more about um, some sophisticated, more sophisticated trading techniques which might involve you, if you have an option to sell gas into Europe or into Asia, and Asia's price is up here and the European price is down here, where are you more likely to send that gas? Asia, Asia right? So you would probably hedge. You can use options, an options model, to work out what the delta, we'll talk about delta tomorrow, what the likelihood is of sending that gas to Europe. If the spreads are very large between JKM and Europe, what are the chances of you sending a cargo that you own to, to Asia? Almost 100%, right? If the spread is like this, what's the chances of you moving it from you, uh, to Asia? 50-50, right, exactly. So in terms of, in that situation, you would hedge half of your volumes to Asia using JKM futures and half of it to the MVP or TTF using those futures. And you can change that relationship. As the relationship between the prices change, you can adjust your hedges and extract value from the volatility in that relationship.